Hi and welcome to another Type with Me. In this video we will talk about Storybook with Angular. Storybook is a really amazing tool to uh, isolate your components within Angular to a single entity in an iframe. It will help you to test out your components and to work out your components with ease. So when you go to the website of Storybook, .js, you will see that it's a bulletproof UI components uh, faster. So it's an open source tool to really uh, evaluate and uh, present your components separately. And it works with major big UI frameworks. So let's see how this works with Angular. So imagine that we have a to-do app Angular application. So now we can very easily apply a storybook to it. One of the things that you could do is of course install storybook CLI globally, but we are going to use it with MPX. So one of the things that he now is doing is grabbing storybook CLI from NPM and he will apply them storybook CLI through uh, Angular, you will see that he will then execute SB in it, right? So now he's just grabbing it from MBM and extracting a lot of uh, node modules, right? And then you will see that he will detect the project type. So he detects the project type. He is adding uh, storybook support to your Angular application. So he is doing that, right? to to it with these kind of files and one of the files that's very important that i want to show you is the uh, config.js and the config.js is just one thing that uh, he says everything that's in source stories uh, will be uh, seen as a stories.ts file and you will execute that so you will also see here that he made directory stories with welcome.stories.ts and a button a button.stories.ts we'll see here that we have something like a welcome component which is in the uh, storybook slash angler slash demo um, and then just for the demo purposes right so eventually we can just remove that but i will show it to you why that's important. One of the things that I also want to do is I want to get rid of uh, slash stories because for me the dot stories dot ts uh, is important to have that right next to your component itself. Um, I don't like that our stories are in separate folders but that's just a flavor right. So if you like to separate your stories from your application code that's fine by me. You can just do it like that. But in this example, in this video, I'm going to show it to you that um, our stories will be next to our components. Of course, I want to save this and then we can very easily do something like npm run storybook. And this will generate a storybook for you. It has webdeck webpack dev under the hood. So it will now spawn webpack dev server with a watch. So whenever we change something to our component or we change something to our story we can very easily get a reload of our storybook. So it's very great to uh, just, yeah, work with components, right? So here you see the uh, welcome story and here you see a text or an emoji or a with some emoji and action. So when we click on this, we get an action and it's been recorded right here. So, here we have a button with link to another story. So when we click on it, we go back to that other story, right? Now we can very easily delete this story. And you will just regenerate your storybook. 
and now the welcome text is gone right so when we go and take a look here you will see that the uh, last thing will link to uh, welcome so we can very easily delete this story So now I just want to generate um, new components and generate C to do, for example. So now we have our new components. We can go to our new components, and um, I'm gonna change, of course, our new components a little bit with some extra properties and some extra. Uh, things in it. So first of all, we have an extra interface. So I will create an extra interface, a to-do interface, and we also will have some kind of input field and that will be our to-do input field. Of course, we need to add the input, right? And then of course our HTML needs to be something like this, an input field with a to do dot done. And then of course our title. So now we're going to add here our story. So we can do to do dot components dot stories dot ts like we have with our dot spec dot ds file right and then of course now we can start to add another story so first of all i'm going to add some imports and then i'm going to define a to two item so now we can define something like a to do it's just a basic uh, input field that we're going to work with throughout our stories and then we have our stories of our to do which has a module in it and then we can do something like dot add decorator and then we can have something like module metadata it needs to be like this and then we need to have something like declarations which is an array and in our case of the to do components all right and then we can add a story so a normal or to do to do has been done. It's not been done. And then, of course, our callback, which is our story callback. And this will return a template. which will be app to do, which will be to to do. App dash to do. And then we have some properties. And these are the properties that we will put into our components so in our case it will be a list of just to do right so this will work and this will give us 
an extra story, the story of to do, which will be app dash to do with a to do item like here. So when we go now to our storybook, we see that we have a to do has not been done, right? And it's indeed not been done because it doesn't have the check, right? So now we can very easily add another story. Remove not. And here we can do something like to do and then do something like this with a spread operator and then say that done the open true right we save this we have an extra story and that's correct we have indeed an extra story and that is that story here gives us that the checkbox is being checked right and that's what we want so we can very easily verify our uh, properties our components uh, test things out with the uh, component itself so it's a very great tool when you have a lot of components and you want to test something out very quickly out of the context of your bigger application so then this is a really great tool to get into your tool belt so you can also very easily add actions so one of the things that i'm going to add here just to quickly quickly show to you is the um, action undone right so now we can add that to our story and how do we do that well we can add actions and this is something from storybook so we can do something like import action from the module storybook add-on actions and then of course you can do something like here So now we have also undone action that's been done. And one thing that I just want to have here so that you know what I mean. So here we can have something like click. So whenever we click on this item, we get undone.emit. And it will emit. Hi, for example. So just to show you a little bit how this works. So you can get it all working without within your own application, right? So when we do now here. So when you now go to your component, you'll see when we click here, it will do our on to event and we get a high, right? So that's great. It's easy to just uh, debug your components and to work separately with your components. I hope you have something, uh, you, 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 you learned something useful from this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe to my channel to get more useful uh, tutorials around uh, TypeScript, web development, um, and so on. And uh, see you next time. Bye.